Okay, I'm just gonna do this real quick, but it's, I, it's just, I don't get how everybody doesn't get this. If these people really were balanced trainers, they wouldn't just be making the dog stop. They would understand. The opposite of that is making it go. So if we're gonna keep the dog in balance, we're gonna have to make it stop and make it go. Not continually say, don't go, don't go, don't go. Nobody does that. Nobody says, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test drive a new car. Do you, do you have a parking spot I can pull into? And, uh, Test the brakes. I mean, it's nobody's gonna do that. So, especially if the only what the only mindset you could have would be that it's never gonna take off. Never gonna take off. <laughs> it's it's gonna do nothing but take off. And that's what you have to understand. So you're. I don't know what else to tell people. You're not just saying don't go sit stay wave i mean I, I don't know what else to tell people it's like if you went to a mechanic or something and they just started doing everything backwards it's if you said well it still has the same it still has the same outcome <laughs> it, I, I don't see any outcome i don't see them producing any result so oh my god i have to do the Pet diary video. Anyway, I tagged Bill Thacker. Oh, hi, Richard. If you said who's Bill? Bill's a serious gun dog trainer. If these people think Bill thinks that I don't know what I'm doing, I don't think he does. <laughs> Where are you at, Bill? <laughs> Where are you at? <laughs> Anyway, but it's that's what it's that's what you have to think of, Richard. If all you're doing is saying "Don't go, don't go," what happens if it's already going? Do we just yell? I said, "Wait, don't go." <laughs> it's too late. So you have to be able to say "Go faster." It's like a horse. You don't just say "Stop." You have to be able to say "Go." And it has to think that you want that, not "Oh, that's the last thing they want is me to take off." That scares the shit out of them. <laughs> All right, so it's trying to figure out already what I want. They've got to have some idea. I mean, look at this dog. It can't, it's, it's desperate to figure out what I'm going to do next. <laughs> and all I have to do, I'm looking at the platform, but I better be careful it doesn't cut in front of me and jump that thing over there. All right, hang on. It's, it's looking at my eyes. So if you said, how can you get it to jump? Just look up. <laughs> so if you said that, that's not telling it to go, that's telling it to go. Oh, hi, Bugsy. I, I'm not even really telling it to do that. But I mean, if you said, well, that only makes sense if you're Certain times making it stop, other times you would want it to go. <laughs> they, they just don't get it. They immediately get the dog and start forcing it to stay in a place, which is against every instinct a dog has. Whether the dog's afraid or playful or whatever it is, they just keep forcing it to stay there. So basically the dog has one option. Get up and fail, get up and fail, get up and fail. On a subconscious level, the dog is thinking to itself, any place on the planet has got to be better than this. You've just got, you've got to move with the dog. It, if you said, well, that's just like with people. Oh, look at all these dating site Richards. Oh, I like to walk hand in hand on the beach. Oh, bullshit. But, you know, that's just something people, you know, if we walk together, you know, side by side, we have something in common. It, it's, that's a primal thing. It's, if you said so, like a herd. Yeah, I've seen groups of people walking together. Anyway, but it heals. Let me get rid of this thing real quick. But when I'm saying heal, I'm not trying to say don't pull me. First off, there's not even any leash, but I'm just saying match my moves. <laughs> match my moves.
I want it to go back. They're not going to move around like that if you jerk on them. It's, it's, it's just containing all the energy in one area. You could see how that would come in handy for protection, Richard, if you said, you know, now it's bouncing around now. Time to get him. It's already all hyped up. It's not in a mode of I've been corrected. I've been forced to sit and stay. Now I can break loose and do it. Everything's leading up to it. It's, it's honestly very glutinous dog. In fact, that's what those are. If you said, well, you shouldn't exploit. Shouldn't exploit that. It's the only thing you should be exploiting. I'm not going to sit there and tug with it. I don't have the strength for that. And it's got something called a default down. You already know about that. So I can put it in like a neutral just by sitting down. It's got Stalker 101. If you said, what is its belief? It is kind of a... <laughs> if you said it kind of almost looks like it's guarding you, in a way, it kind of is that behavior, Richard. It's not going to let me move without going with me. If you said, what if you play tug and stuff? You could see where that might be a problem. You know. But I don't want it... If you said, what were the other choices? I mean, it could jump all over me. Most dogs... If they're not trained, if you sit down on their level, they start jumping all in your lap, in your face, knocking you over. You've been there. Or the other thing would be the dog just go off and start sniffing some squirrel poop for two hours. Am I wrong? Find some squirrel poop and just start going over there, seeing if there's any more. <laughs> so I don't even really say anything. I see it looking at me, though. It's just desperate. She's desperate to. I just add the pager. If I want it to come with me, I just start by, see if it's already moving with me. Then I just take the pager. Anyway, you get the idea. So, all right, let me put this one up, and I'm going to run through some of these client dogs real quick. But that's how you have to think of it. If all you're doing is saying, don't go, don't go, don't go, pretty soon it's not going to go. <laughs> you said, but then what? On a subconscious level, it's thinking, well, that's my instinct to go, and i got to figure out a plan to get away from these people. It's true. Those people have no real off-leash recalls, and Mike knows that. They're professed off-leash recalls that are going to be brilliant at the end never seem to come to fruition. <laughs> Am I wrong, Mike? We never see the actual footage. Danny Wells is driving in his car talking about puppies, scratching his face. How many puppies has that guy owned? Four? I had four times that in my last litter. Or I had three times out of my last litter. Remember that litter of 12? So that means just in the last year I've had, plus I had those two other litters. So that means in the last year I've had 10 times more puppies than he's had in his whole life. So there you go. 